Keltner channels were invented by Chester W. Keltner in 1960 for trading commodities. They came 22 years after Donchian channels and around 25 years before Bollinger Bands. The Keltner channel is defined by the outer bands being one ATR from a 10 period simple moving average. This makes the indicator particularly suitable for any ATR based trading system. Keltner channels work very well for supply and demand instruments, which are often traded either in futures or CFD form. They are rarely used for spot FX because they are not included with MT4 and MT5 platforms. You'll find a link to download them as an add-on to your platform in the video description. Keltner channels could be mistaken for Bollinger Bands at first glance. While both are volatility indicators, they operate quite differently. Keltner channels only expand and contract as ATR changes. A Keltner channel looks more like a winding road or railroad on your chart, and price often travels completely outside the channel during trends. The most frequent use of Keltner channels is trading breakouts. When the channel takes a sharp turn up or down and price is outside the channel, this is a clear sign of a breakout. This Euro USD chart shows a breakout to the long side that occurred on May 18th, 2020. You can also see a smaller breakout to the long side on May 12th. A Keltner breakout is called when a candle closes past the outer band and price continues traveling in the same direction. This West Texas crude oil chart shows a Keltner breakout with pullback that started on May 14th. In this chart, you can see the force index, a volume indicator which is often used with Keltner channels. I will discuss the force index separately in its own video. You can use Keltner channels to visualize one ATR on your chart because the distance from the moving average to either outer band is one ATR. Even if you don't use them to execute the trade, they can help you see what one ATR looks like for the instrument you are trading at the time you are trading it. The most reliable signal comes when price action and the channel are traveling sideways across the chart. Breakouts originating on an ascending or descending channel are most often either very short lived or false signals. Here are some examples. If you look at the first entry, the long candle, it is bad because the channel is sloping down. The trade would have lost money right from the beginning. This setup is a trap. It is a rubbish trade. Don't trade those. If you look at the trade on the right, the one with the green arrows, that is a good entry. The price and the channels are moving sideways. The moving average is a good place to set the initial stop. Don't try to call tops and bottoms. If the price hits the moving average, get out. Alternatively, use a trailing stop. Okay, let's look at this on oil now. The day of the big drop. That was a breakout. You had sideways price action and a sideways channel. You had your breakout signal and off it went. Great short. If we move further along on the chart, you have price moving sideways, but the channel was still sloping up. These can work, but they have a far greater potential for loss. You have this little move here with the yellow arrow. It would have made some money. Now look closely after that move. You have three candles of sideways action and the channel turned sideways before that nice long breakout. And then you have a nice long bit of sideways action and another breakout to the long side. So sideways price plus sideways channel when the candle closes above the outer band, above the top band or below the lower band, that's a good breakout signal. Now let's go to the right side. 
those two red arrows when the channel is sloped up and the price is crossing through and past the opposite band be suspicious and the same thing if the band, if the channel is curved up the other way this quote breakout would have lost compulsive reversal traders seeing the top band is overbought would have probably been stopped out as well don't trade that be extra careful with Keltner breakouts on gold many false signals and traps you will can also see these candles with these big long wicks and tails that can cause a lot of losses the red arrows on the chart show quote breakouts that are nothing but losers stay away from those follow the principles sideways price action allow the candle to close past the outer band and then take the trade breakout traders often use tight stops because the point of a breakout trade is to follow price movement in this trading methodology a stop is seen as invalidating the trade idea when trading commodities, metals, and stock indices, which have big ATRs, high tick values, or both, placing the stop at the outer band versus the moving average can have a significant impact on risk-reward. A stop setting of 1.5 ATRs and a take profit of 2.25 ATRs is a good starting point. Alternatively, take profit can be done via exit indicator a tight stop at the outer band carries the expectation that price will travel linearly in the breakout direction reality does not often match expectation keltner channel breakouts are best traded with a trailing stop or the trader jumping the stop as the move continues if you look at this breakout, you will see a pullback that would have hit a tight stop. Now let's take a closer look. Any of the four candles in this pullback would have caused a loss, but that doji and the shooting star presented the highest risk. We saw the breakout resume, but not before price traveled back inside the Keltner channel before rebounding. The key lesson here whether you use Keltner channels or any other indicator, is that price does not move in a straight line. Price oscillates in chaotic random ways. Your stop should be large enough to smooth out those random movements while tracking the main breakout. Keltner channels can give many false signals, especially on smaller time frames. They cannot be relied upon as a sole indicator and they must be traded as part of an indicator-based system.